on other Not, things. But. Whether we kick really 10 times, 5 times, it doesn't matter. Just trying to stay warm the whole game. We have to be ready at any instant. So just, just I think throughout the whole game, trying to stay warm takes a toll on your body, especially in the cooler weather. What are your thoughts the first time you go out there when you get the call to go in? Just, you know, what happens happens. And I know I trust my leg. I know what I've done a million times. It's, it's not went well for me, but I had to block that out of my mind and just go do my thing. And then the last one, obviously, you know, that's huge backed up in your own goal line. Did you know it as soon as you hit? Is that one of those you can feel it? Yeah. When you get yeah, off I, mean, the I knew I hit it well. I got to give a lot of credit to uh, Cody Nutter for giving me a good snap, shuffling me away from the. Uh, from the rush on the left side, let me roll a little bit, and then uh, a lot of credit to the cover guys for getting down there. Yeah, heck of a way. Uh, it was a great atmosphere out there, and um, everything you wanted in the game is close with Pitt, you know, rivalry, and it was fun to play out there. And, uh, okay. I know you guys had 10 sacks. Was that more the D line that's working hard, or was it you know, the, deep, the coverage out back? You know, uh, yeah, too? we had a combination of both. You know, it's hard to block, you know, Bruce and Julian off the edge. And, but those guys, you know, coming back this year together, it's, I mean, it's hard for any line. I'm pretty sure they game plan against it, but we had cover sacks at the, towards the end of the game. Towards the beginning of the game, you know, we was blitzing them and getting pressure all over, and uh, we took advantage of it. So. Uh, yeah, you know, um, as a defense, you know, we pride ourselves on, you know, if you got a bend, you're not going to break. And, you know, just from special teams, Hogan and I say, you know, we can't get beat and special teams can't beat us. And um, we had two muff punts and that's just a chance for our younger guys to step up. And we did. And uh, we came away with some uh, negative plays that helped us out in those situations. And, we was able to, you know, make contact with the ball early on, and you know, we was able to get in some serious hit, so it helped out a lot. I feel, yeah. feel great, man. You know, uh, on my first catch, uh, I think it was about 10 yards. I was able to move the chain, so I, you know, realized in the head that I got it done. And, you know, it was a good feeling for me. A couple drives later, Gino broke the passing yard record on that big touchdown play you had. What was it like helping him out? Man, that's big, man. Words can't describe how I really feel right now. I mean, in a game like this, you know, the backyard brawl for us to, you know, what I'm saying, be able to come out and, and, and you know, break a record. In a game like this, God is good. <laughs> On Twitter, uh, after that play, uh, you were trending worldwide. Hey, Brian, uh, kind of Tavon. That's pretty Tavon good. Austin. Right here, Tavon Austin. What was the difference with the offensive line in the second half? Obviously, some changes were made, but they came out and played very well. Uh, you know, just, I mean, you know, everybody keeping their head together, and, you know, we kind of talked to them a little bit at halftime and just let them know, man, you know, we, we got we to gotta go. I mean, defense was doing their part all game, and, you know, we were slacking up a little bit on, on offense, and we just, you know, just pretty much just let those guys know, man, we got to go. We got to win that one-on-one -on -one matchup up front, and that's where it starts up front, and, and, and those guys were able to come together. I felt like, you know, in order for this offense to be, you know, completely successful, you know, I had to be, you know, threatening to run the game as well. You know, Coach has talked about the uh, energy on the sidelines and that type of thing. Obviously, you guys have shown that the last two games. Is there any coincidence that you guys have been able to battle through some of the adversity you faced the last two weeks? Not at all. It's not a coincidence. Uh, you know, everyone's out there pulling for one another. I mean, we have the fans, you know, being you know, amazing as always. And, you know, we have, you know, guys on the bench, you know, rooting each other on. You know, it, it, it kind of brings about that aura that, you know, we can't you know, Guys want to make it play. And, you know, that's what you, know, you can see out there on the field when everyone's out there, you know, giving their all, you know, just playing, you know, you know, great team. Teammates, and you know that that leads to victories. You know, is it too much to say that one punt in this game turns turn the game around? Not at all. Corey Smith was definitely my MVP. Uh, you know, he's been taking you know crap all year about you know, his punt. You know, this guy is you know, really tough. You know, he, he got back at it. You know, he kept working and he came out here and you know, won the game for us. Basically. You know, obviously, coach makes the call. But on that fourth and six, were you pushing to go for it? Of course, man. I, uh, you know, it was kind of my fault we were in that situation. We were 31, and you know, we got a best look, and you know, normally I'll check into some hot pad, uh, you know, some quick passes, but you know, I left the play on, and you know, I got pressured, and you know, kind of threw one up. Well, not threw it up, but you know, threw it in the uh, coverage to Ivan and lost five. Uh, so you know, of course, I want to you know be the guy to you know kind of make the play. And, you know, Tavon did a great job against man coverage, and you know, got a big first down for us. This, this, this game got so much addition in, and um, and the way we win, it, it's not enough for, like coming back and winning by one. So it's definitely a good feeling. Let's talk about focusing on the last game and you guys still have your BCS chances a lot. I mean, like the coaches say, we always got to just take it step by step. You know, like you say, it's the last game. Hopefully, we go up there and we play hard. Don't make it too hard on our side like this game. And if everybody comes to play, we should be okay.
Tavon, you guys made a lot of mistakes in certain key areas. You had a couple of costly turnovers, the special teams problems, all that. Maybe earlier in the season, is this a game that you guys don't win, that you don't overcome those things? Have you grown in some ways in this season? Do you feel I mean, like we have de definitely grown, but I take all full responsibility for what happened on a muff punt and, and, and the one that hit uh, one out DB. So I just got to get back and get the call out and uh, get under the ball and catch him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it turned out like we wanted to. Just talk a little bit about the defensive line pressure, uh, what you were doing, what, what you were feeling out there as a group. I mean, uh, we, was just, um, we was just feeling it tonight, you know. Uh, they was doubling me every play, so uh, that freed up Julian and, you know, other guys, and they came through big, you know. Uh, we needed them sacks, and, you know, Julian came away with four of them, so he did his job, and, and we, we executed, and, and, and it turned out how we wanted to. It seemed like time and time again the defense was asked to kind of hold the line on this. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, talk about that defensive effort tonight. Uh, we just never gave up, you know. Uh, we faced adversity, you know, and Coach, Coach Hogerson told us it was going to happen, and, you know, we overcame it. Um, you know, when those guys, the offensive guys, they was they were struggling, you know, we just stuck together and we kept telling them we had them, you know, and, and we and we, we we held them and did our job and, and uh, fortunately they, they, they finally came through. Just how good did it feel to have a defensive performance like that, you know, especially from the front after a little bit of struggles? I mean, it feel good. Uh, uh, the first part of the year we went really getting a lot of sacks and pressure. So, uh, man, this game, it, it really relieved us and, and, and you know, it really gave us confidence for the rest of the season and going into the bowl. Was this the best team effort that this defense has put together this season? I would, I would, I would say so. Uh, you know, we, 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 our backs was against the wall a lot of times. You know, we held them to three. We kept holding them to three. So, uh, I think the young guys, they, they, they finally starting to see the light. And, you know, uh, they buying into what we're trying to tell them. And, and we stuck together and we had a, a great team effort tonight.